Thanks. Uh, we have uh, three different gun links that he's done over the years, and one he, he uh, was able to feature our farm. So I ask Brother Chris to please stand so that uh, we can give him uh, some appreciation for the good work that he's done. And also, while we're on land, we got our brother Johnny, who has been working diligent to get land. And now uh, he tell me that they got over a thousand acres of farmland. So you can see him after the conference. Brother Johnny, would you please stand? Brother Johnny. Okay. Very good. And also, I'd like to call one of my good friends, Brother Quay Koo, uh, to come forward. Sister Pat, uh, they're my good friends. We've been in Ghana through life forever. And um, Quay Koo is also invested with us on our farm. Uh, that's a great brother. Let's give him a round of applause. Good evening, everyone. Um, I have to say, I'm pretty inspired. I mean, I live here and have been here for about 15 years or so. Uh, I'm pretty inspired. I'm inspired to do more because of um, what all you have been sharing tonight. Um, my background is in, is in engineering. And what you just, and I, that I also heard someone was doing, um, couple of medical technicians. What I ended up doing, what I'm doing now, I work for a university that's actually based in the States, but we're here. And there's a lot of folks uh, from the States who are actually still in their corporate environment, still doing their corporate work, but they, they're basically here in, in Ghana, so they get to, like me, follow my dream. And to me, Ghana is like a land of opportunity. I, my, I think about all the immigrants that go to America and you get in their land and they feel like they can do anything. That's how I felt. That's how I feel still here in Ghana. And it's like any dream that I then have, you know, I just sort of can put it together. There's a community of black Americans and um, black diasporans from other countries who are really tight and supportive. And so we get a, a little bit of the the good side of both worlds, worlds, both Africa and our diaspora. And I think we have a unique contribution that we can make. If you want whatever industry you're in, whatever business you do, um, there's a company that can really use you and your skills. There are, there are some entrepreneurs that are looking for people who have been brought up in a environment that know how to do things in a world-class way. And I work with a bunch of those companies. We work with companies that are already successful, but they want to scale up and become global brands. Companies from Africa that want to do this. And they are always coming, asking for, do you have someone who come and train? Do you have someone who can come and be with us, be just be with us, be on our management team? There are investment opportunities in, corp in local corporations that are starting to really get big. And then, of course, there is the Ghana Stock Exchange. So it's all, you know, it's one of the things that really spoke to me about being here was when I get on the airplane and I look around, the pilot is black. Both pilots are black. Mm -hmm. The flight attendants are black. All the administrators are black. The owners of the airline. I'm black. Um, it's like whatever you want to do, you can, there's a way you can do it. And it's about, about having that dream and, and doing the hard work, the work that it takes to make it come real. When David uh, came to me with his vision of the organic farm, um, for me, I'm not a farmer, but I'm, I want to be a partner in a farm. And so I get to work with, I get to be a, a, a farmer, even though I'm, I'm not really a farmer. But I'm an investor, I'm a partner. And um, I get to help shape and then also make that dream come reality because that, that becomes my dream. And there's so many other business men and women um, in Ghana, Ghanaians and also diasporans that you can connect with me, connect with catch their vision, and if you're looking for something to do, then maybe you can make that your own vision. And that's basically how I've, I've lived my life here in Ghana. So it's been about 15 years. I met some of the most beautiful people in the world. Pat is one of them. She has a foundation called A6. 
she said she didn't want to come up and talk about it. Would you just come and say it with a word, but if you don't, I'm going to have to, and you know I don't want to. But um, like I said, you really have inspired me. Whatever field you're in, um, if you want to find and connect with the people who are in your field or the companies that need your expertise, then you can come to me uh, or we can share contacts and I can try to connect you. Pat. Um, good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Pat, as Quaco says, um, from New York City. I've been here 18 years. Um, I came here 18 years ago and never left. Um, I came to do volunteer work. So when we're talking about investing, um, we need to look at investing in all ways. Um, I did come to volunteer, and when I didn't see the kind of service that was being given um, or the faces of who was given, we, we um, talk about the faces of Africa and who we believe um, are those that are helping. And unfortunately, we have an issue where um, Africans are looking at the others as their savior. Mm -hmm. and, and I contribute that to that. I didn't see enough of us coming back mm -hmm. and investing and helping. And so which means that they are only seeing those other faces. That's who they're worshiping. And not to say that they should be worshiping us, but we need to connect in that sort of way. So for me, when I came here to um, volunteer 18 years ago, I stayed and I started my own organization. And I was committed to getting African Americans and people of color to come back and serve and use their expertise. So I started a foundation that helps children in inner city communities and low income communities get back into school and stay in school and using people that look like us to educate them and, and inspire them and mentor them. So that's what we do and um, we've been doing it. And so if anybody's in education or anything in health, um, whatever skill you might have and whether that's training our children or training our staff, we welcome you. So. Here, family reunion. Is the representative from Ghana Investment Promotion Center? Are they in the house? You in the house? Yeah. Come on, come on up. That's a seat for you. You know, we're blessed to have the Ghana government here 